We are now learning that a 14-day judicial custody has been granted for the accused Aftab Poonawala. He was presented before the court through video conferencing from the Ambedkar Hospital. Remember, he's been complaining of not feeling well and that's why he was uh, present through video conferencing. This means that the police custody now ends as the custody goes over to being a judicial custody. For more details, let's quickly go across to Anshul. Anshul, what details can you share with us? And now, uh, the narco analysis test that is supposed to take place, should we expect that will be taking place on Monday under judicial custody? So yes, this is the big piece of breaking news that we are bringing to our viewers at this, this point in time. We are being told that Aftab has been sent for a 14-day judicial custody. Now this comes after he was presented in front of the judicial magistrate uh, in Saket court through video conferencing. Now remember, he was still in Ambedkar Hospital. The police uh, were doing his pre-medical test that is required before the narco test needs to be conducted. What sources have been telling us that the narco test would be conducted on Monday subject to his health condition because remember narco test is an invasive procedure mm. and hence uh, the health parameters should be at the uh, at, at the best to conduct the narco test and that is the reason why he was taken to Ambedkar Hospital to, uh, today. The pre-medical test has happened and from there itself he was presented before the court through video conferencing and the court has given 14 days of judicial custody for Aftab. Now Aftab would be shifted from the police custody in Mehrawali jail. He was still in Mehrawali jail. Now he would be shifted to Tihar where he would be there for the next 14 days. What sources, uh, in fact the lawyer of Aftab has been telling us that he has gotten the permission to meet the family members of Aftab and also Aftab in this entire case for the first time now. So right. yes, in the next few days we can accept expect the lawyer to also meet with Aftab and take the proceeding, uh, proceedings for, uh, further from here. But yes, this is the big piece of breaking news that we are bringing is that Aftab has been sent for 14 days of judicial custody. Absolutely. And, and, and talking about which, uh, there's also been news reports about how a narco analysis test will now be conducted when he is going to be in judicial custody. Having said that, as earlier you were pointing out, Anshul, that uh, the polygraph test is a crucial uh, sort of prerequisite for the narco analysis test. Uh, shifting focus over to the narco analysis test, important to talk about how much rests upon this test for the police, which are lacking in evidence so far. So yes, neither the polygraph test nor the narco test can be admissible in court. But yes, the uh, the police officials would have an exact idea if what whatever amount of uh, statements that Aftab has given, how much of it is truth and how much of it is lie, which could give a new direction to this entire case. However, talking about the evidences, the Delhi police at this point in time is also very confident that they have found the requisite ev evidences that would actually tie Aftab uh, to the murder of Shraddha, uh, Shraddha Walker. Uh, so because remember, the Delhi police has already found the jaw bone of Shraddha Walker and it has already been sent for DNA and in the next few days we are expecting that DNA report to come out as well. On the other hand, there are many such evidences that the Delhi police has al uh, already already found and they are thinking that all these evidences, once those uh, for, uh, once those comes back from the forensic test, they could actually be uh, be connected to Aftab in, in this entire matter because remember Aftab on various occasions has been changing his statement but he has a right. uh, few, uh, few of his statements that he has gone ahead and made. The police has found uh, a few pieces of evidence from there itself. Also the murder weapon in this entire case what sources in, in the police have been telling us that they have found various uh, various weapons that could have been used to murder Shraddha but yes that cannot be confirmed at this point in time as they have again been sent for, uh, for uh, analysis to, to the forensics lab. So yes, in the next few days, when the forensic results uh, starts to come out, uh, right, we, so we can clearly. expect that the police could build a stronger and tighter case. But yes, the police is confident that they have found those requisite amount of evidence that could actually tie Aftab to this entire uh, entire murder of Shraddha Walker. But again, of course, a lot rests upon the results of those uh, forensic tests. Having said that, many thanks to you, Anshul, for putting uh, that story into perspective for us and for sharing all those inputs. And with that, let's quickly shift.